This guide will walk you through from start to finish how to create a new shell and add it to your housing system. Or if you want to make it a publicly accessible space, this video also shows you how to add an outside teleport location. So I'll begin with entering the command, by default it's shell creator. And I'll click on the create new shell button at the top. So you'll see this tiled grid uh, to begin building your shell and I can rotate using right mouse button and move around using shift and right mouse button. For this video, I'm going to create a small studio loft apartment as an example. So I'll start by setting out the dimensions of the shell by left clicking to place floor tiles. And on the bottom right, I can go up a floor to place more floor tiles on top. Okay, so now in the style tab, I can go to the stairs category to place a set of stairs, which I can set to be any color I want from the palette over here. So back in the construction tab, I'm going to build some half walls for the upstairs of my loft apartment. And to remove the floor tiles that are over to the right, I'm going to go into the style tab to the floors section and select the none floor type, which will make them empty. So now I have an overlooking part of my apartment. I'll now place a front door from the star tab. And I've forgotten to add a bathroom, so I'll quickly build that too. Now I'll change the wall and floor textures. Now that I've done the textures, I'll go ahead and place some lights. For the lights, I'm going to select a warm colour so it has a cosier feel to the place. So I place this light in the wrong place, but I can just control Z to undo or just press in the bottom right. Now I'm just going to place some windows uh, which will give off light and also cast some shadows. And now I'll add some kitchen counters to come with the shell. And some bathroom items. These furnishings are optional of course and could be placed using a furniture script. It's up to you what will come with a shell that you create. I'm going to quickly change the color of the door frames from the style tab. and also add a wall trim to finish the place off.
So one usage tip I'll give is that if you want to delete something such as this half wall here, make sure you're selected on the correct tab such as construction or decorate so that the shell creator uh, knows what you want to delete. I'll just uh, uh, control Z to, uh, and undo that. So here, if I wanted to delete the painting, I have to be on the decorate tab and it will delete any decorations on that portion of the tile. And with things in the style tab, like floors, make sure you're on the exact thing you want to delete. So for a floor, make sure you have floors selected. So to finish off, I'll just set my spawn point to where it should be. And go into preview mode to check out the build. So I think I'm done here. So I'll go to the menu on the bottom left where I've named and set a time cycle for my apartment and I'll save and exit. So now when I open the shell creator menu, you can see it here. Now I will show you how to add it to your housing system. On my server as an example, I'm using ESX property, but you can integrate the script into any housing system that supports shells IPLs. So if you don't see it on the list, don't worry, it's still possible. So I'll copy this to my clipboard. And here I have my ESX property config where I can now paste what I copied into here directly. And now I'll restart the housing script. And check if everything is there. I'll just quickly fill this in. So now if I enter, it should bring me to the show I just made. Now, if you want to add a teleport from an outside location that is publicly accessible and doesn't use a housing system, first go to where you want the teleporter set up and open up the shell creator menu. I'm going to link this hideout here. Click on teleport options, click get current coordinates, and choose if you want to allow vehicles to go through the teleporter. So now it's set up. I can drive a car onto the teleport marker and it will bring me to the hideout. So that's it for this small walkthrough on how to use the shell creator. For any other questions or support, please check out our website and Discord down below.